So PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are almost here and every one of us are eagerly waiting for both next gen consoles. And before these consoles get released, you guys probably need to know about them, right? Or I would say you guys should know about them because both consoles are different and having different specifications. So in this video, I will be comparing both consoles side by side with specifications, design and the price. And at the end of the video, I will also tell you some pros and cons about both consoles. So first let's talk about specifications of both consoles because that is the main thing. That's how you're going to know which console is more powerful and which console you want. And I'm going to tell you guys one thing right now that Xbox Series X is more powerful than PlayStation 4. At least that we know right now about the specifications. So you can see both consoles have Zen 2 based CPU and both consoles have 8 core processor. but Xbox have 3.8 gigahertz processor. It's gonna be like, you know, um, 3.6 on normal, but the boot speed is gonna be 3.8 gigahertz. Where PlayStation 5 is gonna be stuck and locked on 3.5 gigahertz. And that's only about the processor and the GPU. PlayStation 4 have 36 uh, compute units and Xbox have 52 compute units. That's a lot. And about the power, PS4 have 10.2 teraflops and Xbox have 12 teraflops and that is about 20% more um, uh, power you can say and both are going to be using custom art DNA2 uh, graphics card from AMD and both going to have 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory 256 bit and about the storage guys they have something different PS4 have custom internal and Xbox have NVMe SSD and uh, PS4 SSD can be upgraded by your own SSD. So for example, if you have your own SSD on your PC, you guys can simply take that SSD and plug it into your PlayStation. At least that's what they said in their conference. And on Xbox guys, you need to buy uh, uh, their own SSD slot. It's kind of a small chip and you cannot use any other storage device. And that's a good thing about PlayStation. And other than that, guys, all the things are pretty much similar because both gonna have ray tracing and both consoles gonna support up to 120 frames and 4K at 60 FPS. And that is pretty good because to play 4K games on 60 FPS, you need to have at least RTX 2080 Ti or dual RTX 2080 Ti because one cannot hold up in max settings. So these are gonna be the thing, guys. And I hope PS PS5 supports 4K resolution for streaming videos and stuff just like we have on Xbox and let's talk about the pricing guys I want to say Xbox one is gonna be on a bit of expensive side because obviously it have more compute units more powerful So I don't think both consoles are gonna be in similar price range. Maybe there's gonna be like about fifty two hundred dollars price difference We're not sure yet because they haven't announced but still PS5 is going to be, I mean, uh, they haven't said it yet exactly, but they said that it cost them around $490 to make one PlayStation 5. So we're going to be getting for about $500 or $550 something. And same for the Xbox, $500 to $600. That's all we know right now. And uh, let's hope it's not going to be that much expensive. And uh, I forgot to tell you that Xbox Series X is going to be coming with one terabyte of internal storage and PS5 is only gonna get 825 and the only thing good about PlayStation 4 is uh, you can upgrade with your own NVMe SSD so that's gonna be good right so these are the things guys about the specifications and let's talk about the design and uh, I'm really disappointed on Xbox Series X because it's literally looking like a PC like a mini ATX or ITX PC it's like you know just like a box and that's it and we haven't seen any PlayStation 5 yet even though we have seen some uh, developer kits out there still we haven't seen any final product like we have about Xbox so we cannot talk that much about um, designs but still we're gonna be getting a controller on Xbox that is similar to the old one and again PS5 we have no knowledge about it nothing is leaked yet so I will be keeping you guys updated so this is all I'm gonna say about this um, PS5 and Xbox Series X comparison so these are the only things we know so I hope you guys find this video useful and if you guys want to know more about these consoles subscribe to the channel because I will be keep you guys updated with every information I get from the internet so I hope you guys enjoyed I'll catch you on the next one peace out